those of us who uh, are familiar with the color issue among colored people, we know that lighter skin trumps darker skin generally. Building Community is an award-winning video series created by the Chester Housing Authority to stay in better touch with its residents, staff, and the general public during these times of social isolation. Thank you for tuning in as Executive Director Steve Fisher and Ulysses Butch Slaughter bring interesting guests to discuss important topics of the day. I grew up in Florida, and I remember my mother being so very... Um, impressed with Mary McLeod Bethune. And I think one of the reasons is because the woman had done such or did such wonderful work and she was a dark skinned Negro. Those of us who uh, are familiar with the color issue among colored people, we know that lighter skin trumps darker skin generally. And so in those days to have a dark skinned woman uh, achieve these uh, feats with education there in Daytona was very important to my mother because here again, there was somebody who looked like her skin color. Uh, I didn't get it then, but boy, do I get it now. Miss Arnold, last night I, I said I was hosting another conversation about Black history, and this conversation never came up. <clears throat> this particular aspect of history never came up. And I was talking with Twyla Simpkins today and saying there's so much to talk about when we talk about Black history that we're not going to get it in in an hour. But what you're talking about is something that is uh, very painful when it comes yeah. to, you know, the, the, this color thing. It's That's not even a conversation. Say that again. It's the standard, it's the standard of beauty. Where Absolutely. do we get our standard of beauty? And years ago, the models that we put on Vogue and what have you had, had, a, had a, a feature, physical feature uh, that we said was beautiful. And those of us who have felt the pain of not being light skinned with good hair, and I say all hair is good hair. The only bad hair is no hair. Mm -hmm. uh, but we know about that. And still in classrooms today, when I have a classroom full of young people, as a matter of fact, yesterday, one of my students that I was working with for the oratorical contest, we started to talk about subjects that were of interest to them. I was saying, what makes you just angry that you want to do something about it? That's what I want you to talk about in your speech, create a speech around that. And one child started to talk about skin color and says, and yeah, but, and when he said, but I knew where he was going, he went right to the thing of color, like light skin versus dark skin. We talk about white people and black people, but we don't peel that onion down to get to the core of light skin versus dark skin people. Uh, I remember some years ago, I was doing some race work with uh, some students who had come into Chester uh, years ago. As a matter of fact, we were over at the, uh, the Y there that, that, Ty, that Twyla Simpkins is involved with. And I had a, a group of college students. I was doing this work with Jim Lay and there was someone from the middle, from the East I think she was Vietnamese or what have you. And she started to talk about the skin color problem with her, her culture. And, and it seems to be universal. I don't know who decided that white was better than dark or white was better than black or what have you when it comes to skin color, but it is very, very popular. And it's been that way for a long, long time. So I don't wanna get too far off the subject, but if we look at history, <laughs> uh, that comes from somewhere. Well, That's the two, the yeah, the two bald headed black guys, when you were talking about no hair is <laughs> the only, no hair is the only bad hair. Uh, Both of us kind of rubbed our heads, <laughs> but, oh but we gosh. certainly get the point that you're making regarding this matter. And I cannot say enough that there's so much to be talked about here, JP, that uh, I, I didn't expect even coming into this conversation that we would go here. But this I is where we, I, I, you know, but this is it, 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 and where we are is where we go. And so from a from a uh, like a, 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 a let, let, let's keep it real standpoint, JP, your, your thoughts about what Miss Arnold was just talking about there. I think uh, 
first of all, Miss Arnold, you know, I, I love to hear you talk, right? Because because every time you talk, right, you, you you give me a lesson that I forgot about from my grandma, right? And 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 from the elders of our community. Um I feel like my grandma, my grandmother was a, a highly light-skinned woman, right? She could high pass yellow. high yellow. She could pass okay. for Caucasian. You know okay. what I'm she went to Ridley High, she played uh field hockey, you know what I mean? But she was a rough and tumble woman, right? Her family is also high yellow. You know, my father was a Haitian immigrant. So he was as black as this as, as this right here, right? He, okay. he, he, was, he was pretty black. So, and they're mixing, they created me. So I tend to like dark-skinned women, right? I don't like light-skinned women. So it's like, well, why y'all like light-skinned women? So I, I'm, 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 I'm sitting here and I'm like, oh, I'm racist. You know what I mean? Like, I, but it's a reason behind that for me is because my grandmother was the first woman to ever show me love. So I don't want anyone to ever sit next to her on that. And that's how I see my grandma, this, this beautiful woman that, that loves me. I don't never want a woman to ever come close to her. So I, I deal with dark skinned women. So it's then like, am I, am I putting the light skinned woman up so high that the dark skinned woman can't can't reach that level, but they I can love them and be with them. So you know, you every time every time you open your mouth, Miss Arnold, you you have me thinking and, and, and re reanalyzing my my actions. Mm -hmm.